So this morning we had just a little bit of a situation. Uh, the dog box smelled a little ripe. We had somebody that's uh, not doing quite as well in traveling and that happens. You know, it's different to be on stakeouts, which is why we train and prep for this, but we've got a young dog that uh, maybe didn't do as well going to the bathroom yesterday and he got to the point where he said, I gotta go. So we had an accident in the box and this is something that definitely put, could happen to you when you're traveling with dogs. It's important to keep stuff along to help with this. One, we've got probiotics that's in our med kit. Watch that video, it shows everything that we keep as well as some gloves to keep you sanitary while you're cleaning stuff up. And then a roll of paper towels, some Lysol wipes are really good things to keep in, keep in the truck with you just in case something happens. Um, it is part of having dogs to be prepared. You can see here, this is part of uh, some dogs drink a little bit, some dogs don't drink a little bit. Uh, we're going to give them the opportunity to have some water. But it's ultimately why we do the food floating. We put a lot of water on their food. Uh, dogs in general, you know, if they're not running, they're not hot yet, they usually don't feel like drinking a ton of water, but it's important that they do. So. She lapped up just a couple little licks. Um, she's definitely gonna need water later, which is why we'll push it on her when we feed later. Uh, this morning we're gonna be hunting about half a day before the wind and rain is really supposed to come in hard. So um, we usually feed just a little bit in the morning or this morning I'm not gonna feed much at all because we'll be done by about noonish. So only a few hours of hunting. Um, but if we're gonna be hunting a whole day, it would be feeding a little bit first thing in the morning, give them time to digest. Usually they need about an hour and a half to two hours for that. So you've got a plan. You got to get up a little bit earlier and what you're planning to go hunting yeah. and give them a little bit of food. And then at the end of the day, they're going to get a majority of their food, um, which is going to be the best way to help keep the energy levels up and keep them recouping for the next day hunt. All right, we're just finishing up today's hunt and this one gets chalked up to the birds. We moved some birds today, but definitely they were flightier and the dogs are tired, we're tired. What we're gonna do is finish up with a tailgate check. Um, these guys have been working really hard and get them put away. Okay, get on. When we do this, we like to just check them over. Look ears, kind of look over mouth, lips area feel down their skin. There's cactus out here. There's different things that can get poked into them. He's looking pretty good. We're gonna check these pads out. Those feel nice. Nothing between the toes. Good. Check him out underneath his belly. Now his belly itself is a little bit raw. That we'll have to keep an eye on, but it's nothing serious. Just a little bit of wear from hunting hard. Checking up here into these loose skin pockets. Those can get hicked up. Um, can get messed up a little bit. We hunt around some fences today. They can get hooked in these areas and you not really know it right away. You now we'll check these back paws. Then we're gonna rotate through the next dog here. All right, big guy, let's get you put up. Kennel. Good job, Nick, sir. All right, shooter, here, Kennel. Good, we're gonna check him over. Just about the same way. We'll take his collar off and ears look good. Your mouth look. See his face is, is fairly raw. That's pretty common running through grass and everything like this, working as hard as he did. Mouth looks pretty good, but neck, legs. Just work the dogs all the way over. Get something here. What is that? It's a little skin tag, it's fine. Looks good. He's not quite as raw under his chest as Nick's was, but toes are a little bit raw. It's part of the rockier country here. All in all, he looks good though. Get him put up. All right, preacher, come on, come on, preach, preach, preach. Come here, buddy. Okay, come on. Ah. This guy's gonna be a little bit tougher because we've got 
more hair to kind of sift through. Ears feel fine. Mouth, lip looks good. Feel on these legs. Paws look good. Yeah. They get any dogs with a little bit more hair, longer coated dogs, really check these toes out. A lot of stuff can get caught up in there and, and stay. Feeling anything down his body here. Good. Here with your brother. Kennel. Good. Quest. Quest. Here. Come on, babe. I know you're tired, sweetie. Kennel. Okay. Kennel. Come on. Kennel. Okay. Come on. Okay. Good girl. Yes, Daddy, I'm tired. All right. We'll check her over as well. Same way. We just roll through everybody just like this. Ears look good. Uh, mouth, teeth look good. A little sore between her pads and toes. She got a little abrasion here, but that looks all right. Pads are rough. She's worn a spot through on both of these front pads. This will be something we're gonna have to take care of. And see here, these bad boys are worn off, both of them. She's been running hard, maybe. Didn't have quite as tough a feet. What we'll end up using with that is um, tough foot, which is basically uh, iodine, and keep them clean and they'll heal up on their own here. So she's gotta go back with me to South Dakota and get her healed up and ready to go. Get your foot out of there. So back feet look good, body feels good. Get her loaded up. Oh, you stay put. Oh, girl. Kennel. Good. We got Vex. Hey, buddy. Kennel. Good job. Same thing here, we'll start up top. Looks fine. Okay. Piece of grass stuck in there. His pad's feet look good. Nixon and Vex have been roading a little bit more on the gravel road and that's what typically helps with Conditioning pads and kind of preventing that wear off from happening. Back looks good. Oh no, he looks pretty good. You can go up here with you. Little girl. Come on. Kennel. Kennel. Oh, come on. Oh, he says I'm so tired. Air moved through here. It's starting to warm up this afternoon. All right, Miss Ellie. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Let's go, bed. Oh, you are hard too. Ears look good. Mouth teeth. Looks good. Just just a smidgen raw, but it doesn't feel bad. Good. Everybody's looking pretty good. The only person we gotta really watch is Quest has got some wear on those pads, which is not that abnormal, especially the fact that she's a little younger dog. But it's a very important part of the process here. Anytime you're hunting with dogs, you gotta make sure that we are taking time to check them out, check them over, and pay attention to anything that really needs our attention at the end of a hunt. We've hunted these guys hard. This terrain isn't too bad, but there are some rocky areas and that can be tough on their pads. We saw that. Other than that, the guys are doing good. We had an awesome time on this trip here in Montana, and we hope to uh, keep you guys posted on our next hunt trip.